You are watching the biggest, the largest, the highest, the greatest, the tallest, the mightiest African spiritual platform. In fact, we are the only platform I ever mantra. Do you chant it? You are the biggest. You are the largest. You are the tallest. You are the greatest. You are the highest. Don't say you are. Say, I am the biggest. I am the largest. I am the highest. I am the greatest. I am the tallest. And see, it's a mantra. Keep chanting it and see what happens to you. Through meditation, a lot of things can happen. Bankrophone is a mantra. And then maybe it's watch you. You are watching us. We are the biggest. Yes. I welcome you, my people. It's another great episode. My name is always Queen. Hadasha Labraska. Obi said, "Be any any he cross eh, me di num patch." Obi to me a case we use po. Obi to me a case we na oye mountains eh wagana. Di ame ye na me kana ni a wu so oye na abeka. We so di ahi ne how we. I am the sun goddess. I am the spear of destiny. I am the true bloodline. In fact, eh, this man to pano. And I say, um, I tell you a poor kind. I say I know how to abase and how to abound. A whole gaya uni mo mo ane uni mo mo. They are now talking about Akon. The very first time they are talking about Akons. And I am so proud of my viewers out there. The topic was our topic. The way we, we, we made a topic, pe, 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 who are the Akons? Pe, 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 pe. And these people around Europe, because our platform, they will be and Sawakoso, around Europe, near the Adeno, they went on the platform and they started sending us pictures about the topic. Say, hey, a whole guy. They are now talking about Akons. Mami Grace, people are watching you. I said, na fear na mwe mu. Aye. Na fear di enkrofo. E chulo mi din wope. Omu pe jine so. Omu pe. Omu kofi ya ya so ala wu. We are working hard. We will get there. I welcome you, my people. I appreciate you guys. Today, we are going to discuss the concept of creation and spirituality beyond scriptures. Papa, we welcome you to Revelations. Thank you, ma'am. Great. Today is your first time on this bigger platform. Yes, so I want you to pay obeisance to the followers and subscribers. They make this platform the biggest. And introduce yourself to us, who you are, what you are, and why you are here. It's been an honor being here. Uh, honestly, I've been watching this program. Uh, I, I really love your programs and I love what you're doing. So today, me being here, it's like, um, it's like a dream come true for me, yes. <laughs> All right, my name is Monsu Yami Yamono Roxen. I practice Molism, which is the, the mystic order of light and sound meditation. Honestly, let me say it's my own path that I've chosen. Yeah. It's purely based on meditation, uh, just light and sound meditation that I practice mostly. And professionally, um, I'm an IT professional. I also do music as well. So today, basically, that's what I'm, I'm here to talk about um, the concept of creation and then spirituality beyond scriptures. So thank you for the opportunity once again. We welcome you. Um, Abusia, your guest, I had you feel her no more and then in it. So when you say it's a path that you, you chose yourself, how you have to discover something yes. before you choose it, yes, right? Yes. So how did you discover this path? And what made you choose that path? Growing up, um, I was born to, though my dad, like the, the beginning of my dad, he was a Christian at first before he entered into Buddhism for almost 20 years. So I was born a Buddhist. So that was the line I was told in growing up. So. I was in that religion until I got into secondary school. I decided to practice Hinduism myself. So it was during the time when I was in secondary school that I had a realization for my own self. You know, so that was the first time I experienced what, what we call the out-of-body experience, or people, or that people call it the astral projection or something. But I, I call it the out-of-body experience. So what I saw with myself, it was just like a narration of my life the journey of my life and where I'm going to end, the struggles I'll be going through to where I have to go. So it was, it was clearly my life that was being shown to me. So afterwards, I decided to myself that I would, I would choose meditation as my path. Mm -hmm. And sincerely speaking, meditation is the only way that can give you access into, into the innermost part of yourself and to tap into what is inside of you and also into the big cosmos. So I chose meditation for myself and basically that's that. And then sound. I realized that uh, universe, the whole of this universe is 
based on sound. And we, the human body, too, emanate a kind of sound. So I chose sound and meditation because meditation can never be complete without sound. So that was the reason why I chose that part. And since then, I think it has been good for me. And yeah, my dad has been complaining about why I've not been going to church and all those stuff. But I don't think it's a big problem. They wouldn't understand now, but maybe someday they'll understand me. Yes, please. Someday they will understand. So this part that you have, you have chosen, yes. what will be your destination? Well, I believe the universe itself is a dark universe. You know, the totality of the universe is, is darkness. But the Creator made us light. We human beings became light because in this realm, this is the only place that we, we, we can see. We are able to see because we are light beings. That's why we are able to see. So I believe that when I, when I leave this, this realm, since I'm light, I will enter into the darkness once again. But because I'm light, I will be able to navigate through my way. So my notion is, I'm not thinking of heaven or hell. I'm just thinking of realms, either the darkness or the light. But I am the light, and I know if I should leave this realm, I'm entering back into the darkness. So what made you a light? What, how do you know you were light right now? Yeah. What made you realize that I'm light? light? You know, we are here, we are trapped. Because you can trap light, but you cannot trap dar darkness. So this, this body is trapping light. And it's making us visible to see ourselves. Because when, when you throw a light at the surface, let's say when you throw a light at a mirror, it disperses. But behind it, it cannot travel behind the back of the mirror. So the darkness is always at the back. But it's because it's reflecting, that's why you're able to see. It reflects on, on the object, so you're able to see. I don't know if I, I'm making sense with myself. Yeah. I, want, I, I, just want you, I just want to understand okay. what made you, or how do you get to know that you are light, and how you were able to tell that when you go back, you are going to back to darkness. Okay. That's where I want you to explain. All right, so it. another way to answer this question is, when you practice intense meditation, maybe you're able to experience the out-of-body experience, or even some uh, another explanation to be in the dream state. When you dream, you see yourself. But uh, ideally, when you sleep, you enter into the state of darkness. But you're able to see yourself. So that made me realize that, no, I'm a light being on this realm. And when I leave this, this physical body, I'll go back into the darkness. But for me to be able to navigate my way through the darkness, I have to be light. So that's, that's how nature made us. So, that's, so is everybody light? Is yeah. everybody a light? Is everybody, every being, yes. like you? Or there are people who are different? And is it that the, your, pro, your, your progression, where you believe you will go and navigate? Yes. Is it like that for everybody? Yes, that's what I believe. Because <coughs> the afterward, I've not been there. But with my experience and what I've seen, I can, I can only give a glimpse of what I experienced in secondary school during the OBE experience I was talking about. You know, there was a moment where, after all those struggles and everything, there was this place, the final place that I went. It was the mighty gate. You know, I, I, I saw myself. At the way I was standing, I could see the entire universe, but it was covered with darkness. And I was standing in front of a mighty tall black gate. And it was open slightly like this. So all I could see inside was, a, was light, a pure light that I cannot even, I don't even know how to describe that kind of light. You see, so I believe that we are all light beings. You understand? But the universe itself, the, the universe beyond this world is pure darkness. It's absolute darkness. But nature made it in a way that for us to be, because we are, once we are in this flesh, we have human spirit. And once we have this human spirit, when we leave this flesh or this realm into the, into the dark realm, naturally that's where we are all going. Everybody is going into the darkness. When we leave this realm, we are all entering into the darkness. But we must be able to navigate our way. So the na nature made us light for us to navigate our way. So how, how, what will warrant someone or what will guarantee someone that navigation through the darkness? Mm, I believe meditation. Yeah, because meditation only will make you vibrate, you know, because human beings, we are full of atoms, you know, there are particles, a tiny bit of uh, cells within our body. So the more you, you chant or you meditate, meditation, not, not just being the, the, the stillness of the mind only, but, you know, with sound and chanting also, it, it helps the body to vibrate. So the more you are vibrating, 
you are emanating some kind of electricity within you. You know, and this power within us forms a whole lot of realities within us. You understand? So, what I know is that I know we are light beings because of this body. We are trapped. This body is the only, only thing that can trap light because it, it makes us visible to see ourselves. But once we're able to leave this, this, this realm or we transcend this, this flesh, we become pure light in the darkness. It's like the afterworld, how I perceive it is like, um, let's say we are all traveling to Kumasi. On our way going, we know this is the road that we have to go. But as we were all going, I got to this, this part of the, of the road and I decided to branch. I have lost, I have, I have not kept track on where, where I was destined to go. So definitely, as I'm going this direction, I don't know what is there. So whatever challenges or whatever trials I'm going to face over there is between me and myself. It's just me. Whatever I'll face over there, it's my own experience I have to go and face. Until, so the purpose of nature is that this is where we are all going. So follow the path. But along the line too, somebody also, like in, because of curiosity, would like to go and know what is on the other side. So you, somebody might branch to the other side, trying to understand what is also there. But at the end of the day, you shouldn't lose focus of where you are supposed to go. What of if, like Kumase, you can pass in Sanwem to whom to Kumase? Yes. You can still pass Koforidia and yes. still get to Kumase. So what about that? Yes. Yeah, so if you are passing here and I decide to longer here, and the main the main point is me getting through to the destination. Yes, that's, that's it. So if I I shuffle from one side, what's, what? No, there's no problem with it. I'm not saying there is a problem with that at all. But what I'm trying to say is, you shouldn't you shouldn't lose consciousness of your purpose, where you are supposed to go. Your destination. Yes, please. So if this is this is for everybody, if this, everybody is a light being and we will all go through the d darkness to navigate, if it is like that, why? must your father complain about you not going to church well what will be the reason what is so special there that a father always know what is best for the children that's true. so what is so special there that um would make your father feel that oh maybe he's a one oh, what, 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 why do you think he feels i mean he worries about you not going to church we are all strangers to ourselves you know <laughs> he's my he's my dad all right I came through his loins and I'm here in this, in this realm. But we have our individual destiny that we are here to fulfill. You understand? So he, ha he had his life that he has, li he has lived or he's living to where he is now. And I also have my own path I, I also have to cope. So not deviating from his advice. I think salvation is personal. And seeking for your creator is something that is an inward. I think it's an, it's an awakening that you feel within. So somebody might feel comfortable being a Christian. Somebody too might feel comfortable being a Buddhist or whatever sect or anything that any, anybody wants to uh, affiliate with. But I think searching for God is just finding peace for yourself. Coming to that point of realization whereby you feel at peace within your own self and you, know, you don't feel pressured by you know, certain standards in the society. Me, I don't want... I think growing up, you know, I, I've, I've, I've read, I don't know, I've practiced, I've been a Christian, Buddhist and all those, but I feel being myself now, I'm okay. I like it that way because I thought being a Buddhist, Buddhist teachings are also good, but the people within the, 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 the society, you know, it's the mindset of the people. Everything is all about the mindset and the discipline that everybody has for him, his or herself within the society. So you can be a, a Hindu and even you will not even benefit what the, uh, the society is even teaching. At the end of the day, you can still get lost and go to hell or whatever the, the religion is providing at the end of the day. So I feel everything is based on you and the peace that you will find for yourself. So do you think you have found your destiny? I'm still, I'm still on course because I know I, I'm getting there. I'm still on course, but I know I'm on the right track. I know I've never deviated. So you, you, are, you don't know whether you find your destiny? I know. So that's what I'm asking. Yes, I know. I know. I know I'm on the course. But I know I've never deviated from anything because. So do you have your destiny? Are you in your destiny? Yes. You are in your destiny. Yes, please. What? Which is? What I am. What I'm doing. Like everything I find myself doing, I do it well. Yes. So. When you say you do it well, what do you mean? What I've realized with myself, 
like my professional life, whatever I'm doing, I do it well. If it is, I do music too. So what I'm doing, I seek to do it and do it well, not to deviate. That, that's, that's basically. So is it all about doing what you are doing and do it right? Um, basically, I think anything that you find yourself doing, you have to do it well to the best of your ability. So yes. that's it. Yeah, that's it. So why then the meditation and la la la? Oh, it helps me. You know, sometimes we are humans as well. You understand? We are humans in this place. So sometimes we get we get agitated. And meditation helps you to calm down. Like the 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 scientific benefit of meditation helps you to calm down your nerves and when you are pressure all that. It's also good on that level. But the deeper aspect of meditation. Why I love meditation so much is that like. If if I like if I want to embark upon something and I sit in meditation, I get answers. You know, there is this thing that um, the stillness of the mind, God appears. When the mind is calm, you will see God. Not God, not in the sense of what is being tagged out there, like God being a human being or something. I don't see the Creator like that. I don't see God like that because the, even the word God, the etymology of the word God, it, sorry, comes from another word. And so, so uh, we use God to, you know, just for expression's sake, but to use that word to describe who we all know or perceive to be the creator of this universe is a wrong perception. Because I, I don't think God can ever be a human being like me. I can make mistakes. I s I, I, like, I'm prone to doing a lot of mistakes, you understand? But I don't think the, the, the supreme creator, as we all know, would do such mistakes. So I find it difficult with some of the scriptures in the Bible saying that God created man in his image. I find, it, I find a big problem with that. So there are certain questions that, you know, reading the scripture, I come along and I ask myself questions. You know, and I always try to put myself in the, in the position whereby I always tell myself, I don't know. You know, that's the, that's the only moment whereby my mind can teach me something. Tell us five scriptures that, when, that you can <laughs> refer these to. Five. I'm not good at quoting the exact I don't quote, yes. but you tell us, you know, people will Google and know <laughs> exactly where the scriptures are. Okay, tell so us what is there. Alright, so one scripture is uh, in the book of Genesis where God said, it's written in quote that God said that he created man in his image and in his likeness. That statement, I find a big problem with that. And secondly too, how they created the story, the creation story in the Bible, I also have a big problem with that. Which is? In the beginning, there's a scripture that says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And then he said the earth was void. He created water before. I don't think that's the truth. What is the truth? Yeah, when, when we get to my topic, I will you explain will better. Yes. Okay, continue too. That is true. And then also the Adam story. The so God created Adam and Eve, being the first humans that God created as Adam and Eve. I, I, don't, I don't think that's true. Either it's not true. It's not. It's never true. That is three. The story of Jesus Christ, like um, as as is being painted in the Bible, that Jesus Christ, you know, being the savior of everybody, Christians make it known that Jesus Christ is the God Almighty who created everything. Some Christians have that perception, which is also not true. I don't believe that is true. Four. And the fifth one too have to do with. Um, Meditation and even reincarnation itself. I also have a problem with that. Yeah, that people believe that um, when we die, we will come back again. It is not everybody that dies that comes. You see, it's not reincarnation is not bound for everybody. It is bound for certain people. Nature knows how she goes about doing things. So reincarnation is a big topic. It's a it's a very big issue that needs to be looked at very well. I understand. So with me, these are some of the things that I, I come across the scriptures and I ask myself questions. So when you see people believing in all these things that you said, and they are putting all their energies and their effort into it, how do you feel? Oh, it's them. <coughs> it's them, sorry. It's them. Because honestly, I've come to understand that um, the minds of we, especially we the blacks, eh, some, some blacks, have this kind of, you know, our minds have been altered to a certain level whereby anything that you tell them, they don't, they don't want to accept. Meanwhile, they know that what, they could attest to it that what you are saying is the truth, but they will never accept it. So people like that, I me, mean, I don't waste my time to, what I know is what is with me. And if, if I'm wrong, I'll die with it, wherever I'm supposed to go. 
whatever judgment is there. Own yeah, so, yes, yes, please. So they should also do their own. I don't judge anybody. Whatever it takes them. I try. No, some people are there when you tell them. You know, some some people are conscious in that way. When you tell them anything, they will sit and ask themselves questions. Something you tell them and there's nothing you're going to tell them that I do. So people like that, if I see people like that, I don't even bother myself explaining further. Because now make a show be an idea of it. I can't can't say them cry now. I won't say say. So I don't want to waste my time on people like that. You are watching the biggest, the largest, the highest, the greatest, and the tallest. We have one of our brothers here. Who is going to share with us the concept of creation and spirituality beyond scriptures? That's actually the topic. We just finished with our randoms now. We know where he stands and who he actually is and um, uh, what you can see about him or deduce about him. So we are going to get straight into his topic. So we are going to discuss the concept of creation and spirituality beyond scriptures. What is the concept of creation first, and what is spirituality? Then you come and, I mean, it mash it together, and then you take us to. Creation is more scientific in this sense, you know. And um, many people have the notion that when you think about creation too much, you wouldn't understand anything. And then they have a perception that God hid the creation process from man. He never did. God never hid anything from anybody. I'm using God because that's what we all are familiar with, you know. But I, I, I don't feel comfortable using that, the word God to describe because God is the name of a deity. You understand? So the word God is the name of another deity. But I don't feel comfortable using that word. But for the sake of this interview, I think I have to use that word so that everybody can understand what I'm talking about. You use <laughs> what you think you have to use. I call him Oduman Kuma. I prefer that word. Okay. Yeah. So you you. They say this, you say it for them, but okay. you, this is so we are able to get it straight. All right. Okay, so, mm -hmm. Oduman Kuma, I prefer using that word, Oduman Kuma, because the secret of creation too is in our father's language, it's in our Khan language. Our fathers were wise in that level, and they understood everything, they knew everything, and they coded everything in our language, because our tradition was more of like an oral tradition. Mostly it wasn't written, read accounts, it wasn't written. It was more of an oral tradition. So they left certain secrets in our languages. So if you pay close attention to it, you will understand. You will understand how this whole creation came about and everything. So <coughs> how I came about to understand creation? In my understanding, I think creation is more scientific in this sense, you know? And then spirituality also is more scientific in this sense. The whole concept of spirituality is nothing but the understanding of this human physiology, that's all how you can build this machine because right now on this earth people think AI is the most sophisticated like sophisticated technology ever on this earth but it's not true. The most sophisticated machinery upon the face of this earth is this human body. Scientists are still anything that science or technology is doing is to just make this body edify this this machine. Because you eat a piece of bread it becomes you. You drink water it turns into this. Anything you take it becomes part of you. So there's a whole engineering going through this body that we need to pay attention to and understand ourselves more on that level. You see? And we cannot, we cannot achieve spirituality in our human self without science. We will always get it wrong. Because science and spirituality work, work hand in hand. It's always like that. You understand? So with me, I think spirituality is more of understanding how this human physiology operates and how we connect within this universe and where we stand. Within this, if we're able to get this concept right, we will know that we human beings created everything, including the spirit that we all talk about, the gods, the angels, or whatever. We human beings created all these things into being. Because after creation, the first, the first supreme beings that came on this earth, together with the animals and the trees and everything, human beings became the upright ones. We became the first ones with con pure consciousness. We became the first beings on this earth that could use our mind to create things that were not there. You see, so this is us. Mm. Okay, this yes. is us. So the concept of creation and spirituality beyond scriptures, that's yes. your topi yes, please. topic. Yes, please. please take us to creation. The creation of this universe is, is in process. It happened in process. The first, the first element or the first thing that emanated 
was the earth. People say God created the waters first. It's not true. I don't think it's true. From what I have been able to deduce, the earth came first because when you have to build something, you need a foundation. And the earth is the foundation. And the earth is a solid rock. The earth is a rock. And it was fire that brought, that created this earth. Ija in a ball assassin, Ija nema assassin Pierre. So for us to understand, we have to understand how volcano erupt from the earth. It is fire that creates rocks and mountains. So when fire is coming, it is molten magmas, particles of minerals from the earth. And then the whole creation of like how the whole thing started was in the beginning everything was darkness, the emptiness, it was whole. It was just one big hole with energies running through pure electro electromagnetic energy running through the whole universe. At that time, it was, everything was pure darkness in that state. There was nothing. <coughs> so the energies must, energy, every energy has consciousness within itself. It creates, it multiplies, it vibrates. You understand? So when energy takes another form, it creates another thing. When energy is being tweaked in a, in a, in a certain direction, it creates another thing. There is, so the vibrations of the energies is what creates things. So what we think, like, let me use the word God, or Dumakma in this sense wanted to br bring about creation. So we, the foundation of the earth must come, like the foundation must come first, and that was the earth. And it was fire that brought this, this earth up. Fire in this natural form is, the, is that, for us to understand fire, fire is pure electromagnetic energy. The electricity that we see running through the universe, that is fire. And it is pure dark. A idea a, 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 a to our ancestors called it tumi, a tum, a idea tum. Science called it the dark energy matter. And our ancestors called it tumi. Later, now we know tumi, three now we but the actual word is three letter with T U M A tum, a idea tum. That is the pure darkness. So that is the power. So I see the Almighty or or Dumakuma as pure power. It's not a human being. Or a tumi or a like because we jack from a man of form. He has he has no form. Or a pure power, or a energy, or a, or a power, or don't you to me. That's how our, our ancestors, if I say ancestors, I think I have to correct this one too. Once I have the, the privilege on your platform. Many a time people think uh, <coughs> if you talk of ancestors, we are making reference to an old man or who came to live his life and died at old age and died. No, th those are not the people you are talking about. The pure ancestors are the ones that give us the language we are speaking because it has been with us through the blood. And it has never departed from us. These are the people we are talking about. Those who came to do things, those who, those who came to give us intellect, the things that we do, you understand, which are still there, like the foundation of things that can never be eradicated from this life. Those are the people we eat them as the ancestors. They were, they were no humans. They were beyond this human. Like, they were able to elevate this flesh. So they were, they were the pure spirit beings on this earth. Okay. When you were talking, you said it was... Um, light or fire energy yes. that created this universe. Yes, please. Okay. Yes, please. Do you know there were beings that were fire energies? Are you aware of yes. that? They came later on. Beings like spirits and all those things came later on. In the beginning, there was nothing like spirits. Everything was energy. How how much do you know about archons and angels? Okay, archons. What I know about archons is. Archons are perceived to be the builders of the universes. You see, they, and they were light, right? Yeah, they were light beings. Uh -huh. They are not, they are not d demonic or evil as people perceive them to be. They were the first beings, as I said earlier on in my submission, that mm -hmm. after the whole creation of the universe was formed, and then the first rain poured on the earth, it called out everything. It called out everything, inclu including human beings. No, there was no any, there was no god or deity who have to come and sit and use the earth to mold anything. No. The rain that after the whole creation was done and the firmament poured rain onto the earth, it called out all those beings. And the first beings to stand upright were what uh, the, the Gnostics called them the archons. So the, the archons and the angels, are they the same? They're not. They're never the same. What's the difference between these two? Angels entities? were created by men, like as human beings were evolving. We created all these beings. It was consciousness because they don't have flesh like, they don't have physical flesh like The archons were the first beings, beings that, that stood yes, upright. Yes. But humans created angels. Is Ar that your archons, concept? Okay, let me, let me put it this way. We have become, like, we use the word humans. You understand? Because archons is just a term. 
You understand? It's just a thing like, le like saying, um, we are all human. Our cons are human. Let me use the word. Like, we are, they are all beings. I don't want to use the word human because human too is a word. It's an Being English word. It's okay. Yes. They were beings like us. They, they were the first beings that came after the, uh, after the creation of this universe. This universe was created by pure energy. It was the two million, like Odoma Kwan Ebo Bibia. It was pure energy that created this universe and brought everything together. But we were there, we were existing in the darkness with, with him. We came out of out of the dark, the tomb. Manifestation. Tum. Manifest we all came from the like from us our, our ancestors say to me, the tomb, the darkness inside. We all came from the dark energy. So after the first rain poured on the earth and everything started coming, including the animals, the trees and everything, we became superior over everything. I'm saying we because the genes of the archons ran through us and they were the first beings that came and they were not two. They were at everywhere the land was, everywhere you could find this rock or the earth, they came out of that place. So they were everywhere upon the face of this earth. And they became the first beings with power to create the rest of the things. So they became the builders of the rest of the universes, including the gods and everything that you can see. So are you saying they formed the, the, the gene of Isis? You said we have, their, everybody has their gene inside of us. Yes. So is it where you, we, we could, it could lead to the gene of Isis? It's possible because w once they created everything, including we, ran, we, we came through them. So it's, it's like an evolution. After the creation ended with human beings continuing the rest of the creation. That was it. So what is the relationship between humans and archons? They love us or they hate us? No, we humans have become, uh, I, I, I want the right word to use, like, we humans, we have fallen from grace. Let me use that word. We've fallen from grace. We've lost our track and we don't know where we are going. We don't know what we are doing. And we are, we are always blaming an entity that they are controlling us or doing things. But no, it's our mind. We are, we, are, we are killing us. We are destroying ourselves with war and all those things. It's business for some people. So now, our concern, angels, where do we place them? Well, it's the world. Eh? See, <laughs> these beings, after, after um, our ancestors brought all these beings into play. Okay, let me put it this way so that maybe we might understand it. You see... Let me use Ghana here because we are right now we are, we are in Ghana. You see, in Ghana, we have certain deities or Abusumbina that they are honoring. I'm not condemning anything of that sort, but I believe in those times when our fathers created those gods or they brought about those gods, there are elementary spirits like the dwarves and all those things. They are here with us, they are, they are, they are nature spirits. So if you are able to, you know how to tap into them and consult them, they can teach you things. Because they are in a realm that we don't see with our eyes. So if you're able to tap in, into them, they can give you some, guideline, some guidance and teach you one or two things. So our fathers, with the consultation of these nature spirits, were able to create other gods. So during war time, they created certain gods for war. And these, these gods are bloodthirsty. Because once they are going for war, they, they will definitely be bloodthirsty. Can you mention a few so you make the uh, statement very... Uh, well, I've, I've not been to... You that know, side yeah but i know i know there are definitely okay so continue they were blood testy and yeah so they were blood testy girls and now we are not fighting war anymore so why do we awaken them with blood hmm. so the more you are giving them blood you are rather killing yourself i don't know they you are, they are not doing any, any good to you and so they are not doing any good to you at all so leave them let them be there there are other deities too that our fathers created that were good enough they were serving us you know they were bringing fertility and all those that. It's not necessary that you have to go and give them blood. Indians, in some time, were offering blood. They were doing a lot of nasty things. Sorry, excuse my word. They were using, they were performing blood sacrifice all the but they have to calm down. You know, the thing they created is so you have to find a way to... To silence it. Silence it. Within your consciousness, talk to whatever you create. Because you create it at a particular condition. Exactly. The condition is past. It's past. Why do you want to make the deities permanent? Exactly. It's wrong. It's wrong. Mm -hmm. They will always find a way to hurt you. Because it's energy. You give and you get. You get what, what you give is what you are definitely going to get back. So we have to be careful on that side. You know, I always speak against that, that one. The blood sacrifice is too much. It's what is hurting us now. You, you know, the ether in the, in the atmosphere, every, maybe our phobia, it's like, the, it's like Africa is smelling. You know, and it's because of all these things that we are doing. It's wrong. It's wrong. And we are always putting blame on some deities that they are hurting mm -hmm. us. Nobody is hurting us. We are doing that to ourselves.
you are watching the biggest, even the air is polluted. We are a bomb. People decided not to shift. Now, more cut old earth and so no more by extinct. Now, more tea and a more struggle. Why are you baby? A real imagine. Look at how we have actually uh, uh, polished a uh, robbery. The cars will be here. People have come here for consultation. And a Range Rover, hmm. car Range Rover, not KO, not Opel, not Chevy, not a whole Range Rover will come and park at where people have parked their cars as if he's also coming here because similar cars have parked there. But unfortunately, no. The Range Rover is there removing people's car batteries. Oh. Removing people's car batteries, a whole Range Rover. Wow. Because people are making it look like if this man or this pastor or this is driving a huge car, That's he not cannot steal from me. Even police will see a huge car and salute. Hmm. This is our level. I don't know if I'm a So is Adumankuma watching? Yeah, the, the power is within us. So it's within He's the watching for us yes. to activate it. Yeah. 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 Maybe hmm. I do. Well, I have, the, I have the belief that once, because there are certain, I, I could see, sometimes if I watch the internet, I can see that some people are coming up. Yeah, gradually. It will take time. It might be years, but definitely there's hope. We'll still get there. Yes, please. Yes. We will be great again as black hmm. nation. Okay, please continue. Okay, so the creation process, like I said earlier on, it was darkness in the beginning. Everything was darkness. What was moving within the universe was pure electromagnetic energy. It was pure energy at that time. So now creation must come forth. And the creation of all these things was just for us. We the humans, just, you know, for peace. You know, if we talk of love, this is love. The edifice of this whole universe is love because the universe is, is loving. You know, the, the universe itself is calm. Everything which human beings need to live comfortable is within the universe. So how come we are polluting everything? You understand? So, the beginning of creation, the next thing that came was the earth, and it was the fire that brought about the earth. It, it erupted like the way a volcano erupted. So, as it came, it erupted and then it cooled. So, this earth is hanging. It's a solid rock, though, but it is hanging on, it's, it's hanging. So, let's say this is the electromagnetic energy, and then the earth is in the middle. It came to form as the foundation for the rest of the things to come. So after the earth came, the next thing that came was fire. So after you've laid the foundation, you need to build place. And that was where the mountains came. And it was the work of the fire who does that. So fire, fire didn't come alone. It came, with, it, it came with air, but in the form of heat. Because when air is pressured, it becomes heated. So air came in the form of heat, accompanying fire to come and do its work upon the face of this earth. So we started creating the mountains and the peaks and all those things. So the, after all, fire did all this kind of work, it laid the foundation upon the face of this earth, preparing it for the water to come. So after all these things was done, now the fire must cool. So you could see touches of, if like, in my mind's eye, that's how I was able to perceive it. You could see touches of fire just to give light upon the face of this earth. So fire became the first visible light that we saw. In the f it, it became red, but its natural or its primal form is darkness. Fire has no color, it is pure darkness. But as it came to being, to come and take form, it became red like we see, like we see around. So there were touches of it upon the face of the earth to give light. And then the air was hovering around the earth. Air, air, air was the element that was used to create water. You understand? Our ancestors call it um, Bosio, and I say Ebo. Ice. Ice is the sixth element, but science has frowned on it. They don't talk about it that much. Ice is always the sixth element. It is in us, it is in nature. Ice was used to create water. It has to rise up to cool. And then when the time came, it has to fall upon the earth to, to melt, to create the oceans. So when the water, the water was the, uh, water was the fourth element to be created. So the first element was the earth, then the fire came, and then after it cooled, the air emanated. Because right now it wasn't heated, it wasn't pressured anymore, so air must, must cool. So air was moving upon the face of the earth. And we have 
seven types of air. We have the ones that the animals breathe through. We have the ones that we human beings breathe through. We have the ones that the plant also breathe through. And then two is in the, in this, in the ocean. I think um, the white people have been able to identify as the, the, the Bay of Brisky and the Bermuda Triangle, thinking that th that was where they threw our dead ancestors and they formed a kind of energy ball. No, I don't think that's not the truth. That's the energy, and that's where the, the air stands to keep the, the ocean from co coming onto the earth. See? Up to now, people even believe that when you pass the, the plane, pass they will get missing. Oh. It is the ship. I, I think it, they are hot here, no? Where you do you see any physical object there for a bit more training? Oh, but a horn a hoyen from any dinner be a horn from any dinner, two dinner horn and a two is was through. Two never was through no more than send a was in none. You can know two never was through the sea for more, best save be our. So the two is up there to 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 help with the formation of rain. It is a barco train in Suno at the costra, not forming take a dark clouds. No, it is a forming dark clouds in here, not back on so a train born or a boom. Never would into smaller parts, you know, from my back, I'm a train of co. It's a train of co, nay, 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 to as, as, uh, as a form of rain. So it's, it is purely scientific. If you give yourself time to it, you understand. Nothing was hidden from us. God never hid anything from we human beings. Everything is there. It is purely scientific. Yes, we should give ourselves time and understand. We will know. So that was how I've been able to understand this creation concept. So I can realize that no. Nothing was hidden from us, uh, actually. We now understand the creation, your concept of creation. Yes, please. Because it's not everybody that will agree to this. Yes, oh, sure. Because there are many theories yes. saying different yes. things. Yes. I mean, people are now trying to understand this Big Bang <laughs> theory. So everybody is holding part and, you yeah. know, so we understand your concept. So uh, how do you explain spirituality beyond scriptures? Okay, so what I would say is um, there is this perception out there that Spirituality has to do with you calling on to spirits and all that. That's the different from that spiritism, like invoking other entities and all that. That's a different thing altogether. And that one, you have to be very careful, delving into that aspect of, of life. But understanding spirituality is more or less like understanding how you, this human being, operates, understanding yourself, understanding how even your heart, heart, your heart beats, why is the heart beating, how your mind functions, how you can use your mind to attract things to you. If you pray, like we've been told to pray, now you pray, how do you attract those things that you've prayed for to you? Mm. Because you are the one who are supposed, who, you are the one going to do that. Nobody is going to do that for you. Mm -hmm. But because of laziness with ourselves, it's not easy, it's not an easy path to embark on. And people are expecting magic. Mm. Abracadabra, you do know, if it happens. No. <laughs> it's not like that. You know, life, life is a serious thing. We have to take it serious because mm. To search for yourself and to understand yourself, it's, you know, it's a journey. It's not something that you can just do within a day. And I think I would like to use this opportunity to address something. I think, I don't know if I'm permitted to, because last, I watched an interview here, mm -hmm. and one guy was talking about lesbianism, about that our ancient goddesses used to be doing that, you know, trying to inculcate that into spirituality, or our ancient African spiritual practices. It is not, it's not something, you see, that immaculate conception is there. Like a woman being able to impregnate herself is there. It's, it's pure energy. But, you know, the explanation is making it seem as if a group of female deities or goddesses have met and then they are foreplaying among themselves. It's not like that. It is pure energy, you know, pure chanting and herbs. Because you can never achieve that without the use of herbs. There are certain herbs that I don't know. I've not really delved myself to research into that. Yeah, but I know there are herbs that can help you do that. You see, and there are forms of chant. Because there are certain chants, if you chant it in a certain direction, it's like a key. Certain mantras are there, it's like a key. When you're able to chant it in a certain direction, it opens certain, certain, you know, like certain portals within your human psyche to be able to achieve certain things. And that's the power of meditation. That's the power of the human, the human mind. And right now, Though we are learning to, you know, stabilize our mind, but we need to learn how to control this one too. But this is the most important thing, the heart. If you leave the heart out and then try to leave everything within the mind, you will you, you, you get entangled. You understand? You will get entangled. This is why we don't say a lot of things. If actually it's not business, you don't say certain things. The other day I was telling, um, a man was here talking about 
how you can use your orgasm to uh, and i was telling them how we can actually use a bit of uh, herbs and to you chant and then if there is any addiction wherever the person is you can act actually uh, trigger the person's uh, libido or um what do we call it sexual energy to heal the person these things we don't actually put in a public domain but the man came and he was talking about it and my mouth mm -hmm. we can use like you said a lot of things because like i said me i can be in my room do a few things wherever you are if you you are addic addicted in smoking and in the drinking alcoholism and all that i can be in wherever me wanna and then i will do a few things with you make sure that your orgasm is really high and instead of bringing it down i will push it into your brain and it would actually wash things out and then it will pass through where it's supposed to pass through to heal you but these things this kind of knowledge we don't put it out there because Everything you want to put it in line is a problem. Say 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 me. We are doing a great job, honestly. Seriously. Really? Yeah, seriously. Me ever since, you know, like they were, I've been watching other platforms before I came to see your platform. Ever since I came to see your platform, I got stuck. Anytime I drop a content, I would like to come watch it. And I like. Your, your, like the, where you alone are speaking. I like that part. I like to watch you alone speaking. Um, time with my migrants. I like that part of the program because it makes me understand you better. Yeah, so I think you are doing a very good job and uh, I think I'll congratulate you for that. You are here, honestly. so we are doing it together. God help all yes. of us. Odoman Kuma help all of us. Yes, please, yes. So we are able to get there. So how do we get into spirituality beyond you were explaining a very huge something spiritism people follow spiritism in the name of spirituality yeah. it is wrong it's so can you actually uh, can you explain what spiritism is and what spirituality is within us yes at the moment you focus on yourself and you focus on me and understand that i am you yeah. you are me that is when you know you are practicing spirituality yes and spiritism is when you are bowing to something yeah. and invoking. I mean, can you yeah. please explain this? Yeah, Oduma Kuma gave we humans free will. And that will is the ultimate power to the total liberation of our mind and our actions that we do. So the moment, you know, I've also been a victim. But what saved me was I have, I've never had a pact with any deity hmm. growing up. Yeah. And the moment you go into a pact with a certain deity or a spirit, you, you become trapped. Because these energies, over, over the years or over the millennia, the beings who created this um, spirit into being, you know, they created them out of their consciousness. So they are alive. You understand? They are alive out there. So when you try to tap into their realms, it becomes a reality unto you. So over the years, we have neglected the true one that the Almighty gave to us to, to come to this earth with. More or less like our, we call it our soul or our spirit, our individual spirit. So that is what we are supposed to search for. And that spirit is not dwelling in us. <laughs> it's another thing. Mm. You know, it's like an inch, or, or to say a shadow no DH, you know. Mm. The soul can never dwell in us. You understand? We human beings are separate. That's why whatever we do does not affect the soul. Because the soul is like, pure. it's a pure energy. It can never get the interest. Our, excuse me to say, our kind of negligence. It doesn't upset. go with our will and our wishes. Yes. So, on what I say, or a neutral. It can't um, be manipulated. It can't. No, we can never manipulate the soul. Santa also find it difficult if I hear people say, or friend, a cry, no, or teacher, no. I find it difficult to believe that because we have our individual spirit as human beings. That's, that's what makes us live as human beings on our own. And then the soul, or the soul too, is another day or divine being which is also part of us. So, it comes in at the right time to come and help us. That's what we are supposed to contact. And, so, and doing that, you know, we need to purify ourselves. Meditation is very key in this process because the more you meditate, you're able to. You know, align yourself. You know, I love, I, I came to the consciousness or the reali realization of sound by my own self, not by anything. Because if 
I should close my two ears. Like I could hear some sound within me. It's a vibratory sound. So it tells me that there's some kind of mechanism going on within my body. So I have to, if I want to energize that my, my body, I have to just tune into that sound that I'm hearing and try to follow the sound closely and try to repeat the sound out. In that way, I'm creating fire. Like I'm, I'm energizing the fire energy within me to be able to hit wh whoever is following me, like my soul, to get connected to, to, to it. Now, do you know, let me, let me say this and m let me ask you this. I did, um, I think I did angels, the fallen angels and da 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 da, -da. Yeah. And my own pearls, the ones I love. Mrs. Oyinija, how are you? I will give you a voice note, okay? We, they were asking if this is what you are saying, that we should not submit to any angel, blah, blah, blah. Then what is our guardian angel? You just said something very, very, very important. Your own soul is yeah. your guide. Yes. That is the one following you. Yes. Can you explain that part a little bit for me, please? Okay, so the soul, I would say the soul is the... If we, we have a God to worship, we should rather worship that one. Mm. Now, it comes in this form. We are not able to worship ourselves because human beings, we are supposed to worship ourselves. Worshiping ourselves doesn't mean I have to come and bow down to you every Servicing. morning. Servicing. You understand? If I'm in the right position to be of service to you, I have to. Because service to man is service to God. We don't see the Creator anywhere. But we're able to see ourselves. So doing that kind of service to ourselves is, is worship. It's a form of worship. Because if it's the same thing they're doing in the shrines and all those things, but they don't know. Because Poko or Obosun wanna say did. So I'm not saying going to those places is bad. I don't want to condemn anybody's faith, because that's what people believe. Going to these people, we are going there with something. To go and offer going something. To trade. We are going to trade. So we are offering something to get something in return. So what what isn't it the same thing as giving, like helping your brother if you feel he is in he or she is in the need that you can offer that kind of help to the person. It's the same thing, it's the same worship. So to to be able to let the spirit that is following us come because that spirit is or, or a pure, you understand? Or a, or a pure, or a pure energy. No, or a flame. You can't, you cannot and even... It understand its responsibility with yeah. you. So he will not charge you anything. anything. All you need to know is know that. Okay. You understand? And just know when to talk to it because... And there is you. Nyame waho. Ibahi. Ela banyo kukuku. So, spirituality, that's what it's all about. And then, you know, the scientific aspect of it too is understanding how this human physiology operates. You know, science says we have this 12 nervous system that has been used to create the 12 zodiacs and, you know, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Everything is within us. So we just have to know how to understand how these things operate within us and then know how to polish them. Righteousness is key in our life because we need to practice acts of righteousness. It's key because one person I always say, oh, practice, say, oh, like, oh, try, say, oh, oh, lead this kind of modest life. Yeah, you always feel that something is following you. You understand? Mm. You f yeah, you feel it. You feel it. If you are not able to feel your energy, you won't mean Felicity be do it here. As one said, how can you today? It is now Felicity be And that's different. But when, when you are aware of yourself and you are aware of what is following you, when it is closer to you, you know that, yeah, or can you know. Mm. Mm. And so, only which is so Felicity why you're empty. You understand? You, you know. Feel, yeah, you, you are not sick, it. but you feel you've, yeah, lost you've lost something. You are not okay being exactly. like that. Won't mean the day and all that. Yeah. It's real. Mm. It's I real. I say, I'm fine in real life. No, I'm I'm no question. Now, as some know, you are straightforward case. I didn't amiko bisa. We are looking for that one thing. So if you come and you are like, hey, I mean, come on, I'm busy. We are busy. We are busy. Oh, God, I'm crying too. I'm crying. The baby bisa a question. Come on, I'm busy. We are busy. We are busy. Say, Obi, I'm not free. Mo, Obi, I'm. It is knowledge. I know you're casa casa. Nobody can help anybody. Obi any one of money last draws to be a way we are to pro. I say one abra bumu. We are all struggling together. Nobody is over anybody. So let's mama yen pick it knowledge, you know. Na yen fan boom, ni yen self hate non ton cheng. Yes, I am co. My brother, you have three, four minutes to summarize this. Maybe someone just plays his channel or her channel here. And he will know that we are discussing the concept of creation and spirituality beyond scriptures. So this uh bonitofa. Five minutes address the same way to say your mouth platform me for just five minutes to address this. When you are done, 
add your advice to wait and then if there are social media handles you add then we are gone so um, creation we need to understand the concept of creation because until we are able to understand the, the etymology or the beginning of creation itself, we will get everything wrong. Yeah, we, we are going to get everything wrong. So we need to understand. The reason why I'm saying this is um, we, I find it difficult to believe that I was created. It's so, it's, it's, it's primordial. It's a DBA. It doesn't, it doesn't add up. And also, you know, um, creation is in, in, in the process that after everything was done and ended, now there was procreation. That was where the power of the woman came in to take the seed and then process it in the womb to continue the, the, the creation, like the process of creation. So there is nothing like yet it's in the third will be a will form. No, but after everything was done, Odomak made his own wisdom poured for the rain on the earth. And the rain called forth everything, vegetation and everything, including the animals. Because if we believe that no spirit formed animals from the earth, one rain or assassin, you know, Munekita say, Umfine by. So naturally, it tells you that we human beings too came out of the earth. And I can for example, more believe JDB said, I'm going to be a person. You understand? So it's a reality, it's there. We all came. After the first rainpour, after creation, we all came from the earth. But the first human being that came out, no, they were gods. They are not from gods. I'm not a I'm not from. A god is some, uh, it's a being who has form. We human beings are gods. You understand? But until you are able to realize yourself, you can never tap into that realization. It's, it won't be a reality unto you. You see, so we have to, we have to, I feel we have to go back, ask ourselves questions, and always put our mind in the state of, we don't know. If you're able to put your mind in that state, the possibility of knowing will always come to you. You have the urge to ask the right question, and the right answers will come to you. Nature never hid anything from anybody. There is nothing like secret in this life. Always I say that. Because I don't to be able to but nature itself has never hidden anything from anybody. We just have to sit, ask ourselves the right questions, and the right answers will come. Because the universe is in us. We came from the uni we came from the earth, and everything that made this universe is within us. In Sio, Uja, in Frama, Ebo, I mean the ice. So what is hidden from us? There's nothing hidden. We have to tap into that consciousness. Mm. Mm. And understanding this is spirituality itself. Because if you put me by this realization, uh, you understand yourself. You will begin to ask yourself the right questions. Mm. Sometimes, uh, so you say, no, 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 no. Like, you, you don't see the bread anymore. You are what you eat. You are what you eat, you understand. It, it's a word, but you can't track it, but you don't see to understand the scientific process behind that word that we are seeing. So life is serious, and we should take it serious and treat ourselves well. That's Life it. is serious, so until you see treating who's serious, we are going to the pals who were asking me about what about the guardian angel. Let me tell me, say, oh, I, I will try and set something for you people so that I will answer your questions. So there's, there's, uh, it's not that a yedina mudi amano no, and I'm I hear something which is there, but honestly, something is following you. You came with it. Only many responsibilities, and I won't have reject you. We will talk about that one day. We will call him to come and talk about it. If you think we should bring him live, just hit it on the comment um, session. Any social media handles, maybe people would want to ask questions. Okay. Well, I'll do music, so maybe I'll put my music out. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. So you can follow me on all social platforms, Shiva Roxen. Just type Shiva Roxen. Shiva is not the Indian deity Shiva. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's a combination of sounds, the fire and air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Shiva Roxen, yeah, that's it. What music do you do? Well, I do spiritual music, deep music, but Which is I fuse it with hip hop and reggae and a bit of Afrobeat. Next time, we ba we ba for the Bible na yambo. Me dey me pay me me can't tell me say we to take paper for paper. Me Bible me na me yambo na yambo masu. Uh huh. So the pl the social media again. So Shiva Roxen S H I V A and then Roxen R O C K S O N. 
um, on all social media and, uh, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, everywhere, TikTok, Nidia, Kika, Kang. I was saying, I follow the name, I saw the question. I mama, I pay any music, you know, fan costro. So what they say, and so that you know, I'm making sure they are well known. We need to be now. I caught now. We need to fit. I mean, we need. I was saying. We will get there. I am so sure. And I make an mama my proud though. I feel when we say me yobi. The icons, you know, we have the darker side. One, two, and three. I left it behind. I think I'm going to release it. Uh, since we've seen that the biggest amutu yes they are watching us. We are going to do better. I'm not saying we are not doing anything, like we are going to progress. Thank you so much for coming, my brother. We do Thank appreciate you. Man. Bring me your music so I can play it. All right, People oh. buy it. I, is it on sale? Yes, it's on all streaming platforms. Please, yeah. move streaming, move streaming, move streaming, move streaming. I encourage you to push it. you push it. Thank you so much for watching The Biggest, The Largest. Thank you so much for Thank coming, you. my brother. Shalom.